Hello, in today's episode we are going to talk about Iguanodon. If you are enjoying our content, please leave a like and subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to click the bell to be notified about our future releases. You can also support us with YouTube Premium Membership, which will grant you benefits, such as viewing our videos early, loyalty badges, and access to supporter-only polls. We also have mobile games, available both on Play Store and App Store, which will be linked in description. Iguanodon was large, bulky herbivore that lived during early Cretaceous, about 126 to 122 millions of years ago. While many species have been classified in the genus Iguanodon, dating from the late Jurassic period to the early Cretaceous period of Asia, Europe, and North America, taxonomic revision in the early 21st century has defined Iguanodon to be based on one well-substantiated species. It lived in areas of Belgium, Germany, England, Spain, and possibly in different parts of Europe. One of Iguanodon distinctive features is a large thumb spike, which was probably used as defense weapon against predators. They also were able to shift from walking on four legs, to using just two. These dinosaurs also had large, tall but narrow skulls, with toothless beaks probably covered with keratin, and teeth like those of iguanas, as the name suggests, but much larger and more closely packed. Iguanodon was bulky herbivore, that on average probably weighed about 3.08 tons, and measured about 10 meters long as an adult, and being 2.7 meters tall on all four legs. This makes Iguanodon larger and heavier than average hippopotamus, but smaller and lighter than average elephant. The arms of Iguanodon were long and robust, with rather inflexible hands built so that the three central fingers could bear weight. The thumbs were conical spikes that stuck out away from the three main digits. In early restorations, the spike was placed on the animal's nose. Later fossils revealed the true nature of the thumb spikes, although their exact function is still debated. This thumb is typically interpreted as a close-quarter stiletto-like weapon against predators, although it could also have been used to break into seeds and fruits, or against other iguanodon. One author has suggested that the spike was attached to a venom gland, but this has not been accepted, as the spike was not hollow, nor were there any grooves on the spike for conducting venom. First Iguanodon fossils were found in 1820 in Sussex in England. It consisted of only a couple of teeth, which were found alongside some theropod teeth, and they were falsely assigned as those. A more complete skeleton was found in 1834 in Kent, England, and was identified by its distinctive teeth. But due to its incompleteness, restoration made some mistakes, the most famous of which was the placement of what was thought to be a horn on the nose. The largest to date Iguanodon remains were found in 1878 in a coal mine at Bernasset in Belgium, at a depth of 322 meters. There were also other Iguanodon skeletons and that locatins, totaling to a number of at least 38 individuals, most of which were adults. In 1925 another skeleton was found on Isle of Wight, England, and was assigned a new species. In 1969 a number of disarticulated Iguanodon bones were found in Nordrhein-Westfalen, Germany, it is believed they were killed by a flash flood. In 2015 a new species was named, based on material including 13 juvenile individuals found in the Camarillas Formation near Golve, Spain. The diet of Iguanodon is not exactly known, aside from the fact that it was herbivorous. The skull was structured in such a way that as it closed, the bones holding the teeth in the upper jaw would bow out. This would cause the lower surfaces of the upper jaw teeth to rub against the upper surface of the lower jaw's teeth, grinding anything caught in between and providing an action that is the rough equivalent of mammalian chewing. Because the teeth were always replaced, the animal could have used this mechanism throughout its life, and could eat tough plant material. Additionally, 
The front ends of the animal's jaws were toothless and tipped with bony nodes, both upper and lower, providing a rough margin that was likely covered and lengthened by a keratinous material to form a cropping beak for biting off twigs and shoots. The size of the larger species, would have allowed them access to food from ground level to tree foliage at 4 to 5 meters high. Although iguanodonts in general have been tied to the advance of flowering ground plants in the Cretaceous due to the dinosaurs' inferred low browsing habits. Posture of iguanodon is also a point of debate. At first it was believed that it was depicted in a tripod pose, using tail as third leg, similar to a modern-day kangaroo's. However after closer examination of the tail, such pose was deemed impossible, because the tail would literally need to be broken to be held in such position. It was then decided on a horizontal pose, as the hand is relatively immobile, with the three central fingers grouped together, bearing hoof-like phalanges, and able to hyperextend. This would have allowed them to bear weight. The wrist is also relatively immobile, and the arms and shoulder bones robust. These features all suggest that the animal spent time on all fours. But it is believed that it was not able to gallop on four legs instead it was running on two legs, with estimated top speed of 24 km per hour. Even though fossils were found in groups, meaning it could be result of a single catastrophe, at least three occasions of mortality are recorded and though numerous individuals would have died in a geologically short time span, this does not necessarily mean these iguanodon were herding animals. An argument against herding is that juvenile remains are very uncommon at this site, unlike modern cases with herd mortality. They more likely were the periodic victims of flash floods whose carcasses accumulated in a lake or marshy setting. The need and find, however, with its greater span of individual ages, more even mix of Dolodon or Mantlosaurus to Iguanodon bernasartensis, and confined geographic nature, may record mortality of herding animals migrating through rivers.